Hello once again, audience. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? I uh, yeah, I ran some uh, ran some stuff around on the beach. Had a, had a wonderful time. Got a nice little workout. Um, it's like 35 minutes of oh, absolute pain, and uh, that's the way to do it. You know, you do like the sprints. It's a good way. I mean, or it's or it's me just trying to justify that I only worked out for 35 minutes, but. That whole 35 minutes. I think I probably sweat more than uh, somebody would in, eh, I don't know, a full eight hours of work. Then again, I haven't done eight hours of manual labor. <laughs> I hope, hopefully one day. I mean, I got to put these calves to use. But uh, yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, got a text that was like, uh, for someone, uh, <laughs> for my friend, um, for someone who is not racist, you sure talk about racism a lot. Well, I'm like, oh no, no, someone who's not guilty about, about racism, right? And I was just like, only racists would be guilty about racism, wouldn't they? But then I guess, honestly, I guess they wouldn't. He probably would be like, they'd probably be like, oh, I'm happily horrible. You know, but I think ex, ex racists would probably feel guilty about it. Like, let's say that you grew up and you were like, you know, you, you were taught that just because of how a person looks means they're gonna act a certain way right because maybe you're in an area or whatever your family doesn't know but then you let then you meet someone you're like hey and you have a conversation you're like oh you're the exact same as i am you know and then you're like oh man i feel i feel bad like you know i used to think i used to think that you people d didn't like our people and you know I, that, that's the only way that you can be like well that was wrong so i think you kind of learn that it's wrong and dumb and you know we learned that a long time ago humans uh, learned that it was you know fake where you know humans are all alive and then you know we're, we're so good in america i mean there's a lot of countries that are like this but you don't even hurt animals because you're like oh you know what uh you know i, I don't want to hurt anything that's alive you guys are alive and you don't want to hurt them unless you're hungry you know and you don't want to hurt them you just want to cut their head off i don't think that's how they do it i don't know uh you should hunt with the bow people hunt with the bow but uh yeah you don't you don't want to hurt something that's alive you know or something that is truly capable of, of feeling of suffering you don't want that to happen right so as soon as you're like you know what they, you know let's say that I, I mean all right let's say that you're in like some like racist part of town and then uh and there's two families you know this is like the classic story right obviously we're moving race from it because eh, it's irrelevant i mean it is totally let's say you have a family and you're like yeah we don't like that family over there the josephines we never get along with them Josephines and don't ever be nice to a Josephine. And the Josephines are like, we don't like them crankies. Like, man, that, you hear how the Josephines talk, can't even talk. And then the baby's like, what, what if that's just the grandma just can't talk about it. No, it's all Josephines all sound like that. And then one day, the two families, they accidentally get together on the same part of the lot, lot of the beach and start cooking the same sorts of, uh, same sorts of food, you know? You know, they have the same delicious types of meals together and then the kids accidentally go out to the same beach they're like hey are you one of the josephines and like yeah yeah i'm one of the are you one of the crankies we're like we sound exactly the same we're like that's because tubby can't even that many voices you know and then you realize that um the the whole grudge or whatever that had that had existed it's based on a lie um yeah but it is true i think i think the people that probably feel the most uh, guilt about racism are probably the uh, the people who, okay, I, I mean, maybe overall, I mean, it's, I don't know, I'm just one person, I'm just guessing, just saying random stuff. I'm not a, I'm not a racial scientist. Man, I'm sure if you have a PhD in racism, I'm sure you're the least racist person. You know, I'm sure if you're like, no, I know for a fact that all of these people hate all of these people and then those people hate all of these people. Uh, definitely, it's definitely really a thing. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, maybe the PhD is uh is probably not a good phd if there is one in racism i mean probably not there's probably not but you know, there might be some similar things i don't know i don't i haven't been to a college campus um in a long time when i went i was just trying to figure out how to borrow more money from the government so i just never have to pay it back because you know we take loans out I, i'm still paying my college loans off you know because i go to college for the financial aid direct deposits how i'd like to be paid Got some credit cards, pulled, but I'm still pretty thrifty. I paid them all off. My credit score is 850. I think my credit score is, uh, I hope it's good. You know, I haven't even looked at that for a while. My credit score, man, 
That is one of those things. You got to pay your bills on time. And if you don't, they're like, ah, minus points. Be like, but, but I was late. Be like, ah, just because you're a Josephine doesn't mean you can be late. But the crankies can be late. Like, what did he even say? I can't go high pitched anymore. Um, it's funny. It's not really complicated. It's very simple. Uh, if you don't like people because it's physical characteristics, like, uh, for whatever reason, eh, you're wrong. I mean, if you base it on that, you know, you can't just be like, I don't like this group and nothing they do would ever prove me wrong. That would be, if, <laughs> if racism was a thing that was immutable, you know, be like, I don't like those people. I never will. You're like, oh, but then one day you're hanging out on the same beach. You meet this, this girl has some other different physical characteristics. You're like, wow, she lovely. She like a butterfly in the wind, only more like a human. And then she's like, oh, oh, that, that person over there is like a rhinoceros on a safari, only like a human kind. And then they're like, oh, butterfly rhinoceros come together for the first time. And then you realize, yeah, it's a, it's a sham. It's a sham. Unless you believe it's not a sham, then you're probably the cause of all the suffering throughout history. Yeah. Here's what I think the most people who actually would feel uh, guilt over racism, honestly, this is true. I mean, this is my true belief as a non-PhD, um, would be the people who are very empathetic and are uh, allow themselves to be manipulated or, you know, because, you know, it's tough to process emotions uh, when, when they're negative ones. You know, because someone makes you feel negative emotions. You're like, hey, feel bad for that. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I should. Like, yeah, even though you didn't do it. Yeah, like, yeah, but someone did it. They're like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you should feel bad for it because uh, someone else did it. And uh, just like you, they have web feet. They're like, oh, I have, oh, I have web feet. Oh, web feet people. They go swimming around a little bit faster than everyone else. Is that true? I don't know. I uh, unfortunately can't test that hypothesis. Maybe that could be my application to get the PhD. P to the HD. <laughs> Check your pH. D. What? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, that's just, uh, just a little moment of thought. Besides that, it, uh, it's a beautiful place. Beautiful place we live in. Anywhere in the world, uh, you could go and it'd be just as beautiful. My buddy, he, uh, man, he took his current girlfriend on their first date and I don't think he's I don't remember him having a girlfriend this guy's amazing he's wonderful but he he always believed and practiced that uh that very powerful ancient quote I forget who said it, it might have been uh, Jesus of Nazareth I'm just kidding I don't know who said it probably no it was uh it was one of them peace alms it was uh it was like uh guard closely your heart above all else for the springs of life flow from it so you guard your heart because that is what you you live through. That's what your words come from. That's what your love comes from. And that's how your understanding of what love is and how important it is comes from. Your love for other people or, uh, you know, uh, cr uh, creatures, you know, even. Because it's like, okay, the bumblebee, you know, might, might sting you a little bit. But safe to assume you don't understand how important the bees are if you're gonna kill a bee you don't want to do that now then murder hornets are another story um us pesky murder hornets i'll never like a murder hornet we're like but are you sure the name's not just a little over the top maybe you don't like them because the name's murder hornet we're like oh i don't care i just literally i every time i think i see a murder hornet i think they're just gonna murder can you say murder on the internet anymore? It's a very important word. It's a hugely important word. Sort of like that thou shalt not murder. That's, yeah, that's the, that's the whole thing. You're not supposed to do that. It's good to know what you're definitely not supposed to do. Some translations say thou shalt not kill and those are, uh, those are wrong. But, um, you know, the uh, one that's right, thou shalt not murder. Yeah, you know, it's, it's important that we, uh, that words are spoken clearly and honestly, honestly, because if not, you could uh, trick, let's say, uh, an overly empathetic person who is uh, allowing themselves to be manipulated into believing words mean all kinds of different things that are not true. And if you believe words that are not true, 
you are believing things that are absurd you know, or false. I mean, that's the, that's the saying. If you can convince somebody to believe absurdities, you can convince them to commit atrocities. That's a very famous quote. And it means if you can tell somebody that, uh, you know, up is supposed to be down and they're like, but, but the up is where the sky is. And then you tell them like, oh, they're trying to shatter your universe. They're telling you that up is up? Oh no. What kind of a sick murder hornet would do that? I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was, but you're right. It, it isn't, is it? No, up is down. Anybody who tries to tell you otherwise is denying your reality. What? Oh, that sounds murderous. Yeah, and words are violence. Whoa, just like as bad as if you hit somebody in the face with the hammer, but like just as bad, if not worse. Uh, I don't want those people that believe that stuff to be anywhere near anybody I care about or anybody that uh, anybody else cares about because uh, that's how you get to that whole atrocity space. You know what I mean? It's just one round. I'm sure there's multiple. Anyways, it's already been 11 minutes. Good Lord. Well, I'm gonna go do 35 more minutes of that long lasting life giving cardio, baby. Picking up the, picking up them chairs, running them around in circles, sitting back down. Bless your face. If you sneeze during this video, bless you. Be good. Be good to one another for the goodness of you. Um, all right, no, no. Guard your heart, because that's where the springs of life flow from. You know, it's like a very important lesson. Don't wanna hurt your heart, don't wanna risk it. You do have to risk it to get the biscuit, right? In general, but you don't wanna risk uh, hurting, hurting that heart, because you know, it's happened. You know, I've had it happen to me, I've done it to other people, and uh, I didn't realize you know, that like, well, that's a two way street, idiot. And you don't want to do it to anybody because it's, it makes the whole world less good. You don't want to break people's hearts. You got to guard their hearts too. You know, you got to love your neighbor, baby. All right, bless your face again. Boop, boop, outro of darkness. Just darkness.